Let's see if we can develop an expression for the pressure in a system of gas based on the volume of the system, the number of particles, let's just take one mole, their masses and their velocities. Now, the pressure comes from the particles impacting the wall of the flask. And when they impact the wall of the flask, they impart a momentum. A change in momentum is a force. And we want the force per unit area. So there's a momentum, and then there's how frequently the particles hit the wall. So we're going to talk about a momentum transfer component times the number of particles per unit time, per unit area that hit a section of the wall. So the momentum is about m times v transferred to the wall per collision. The number of collisions per unit time and unit area are going to be based on the number of particles. Because if you have more particles, everything else being equal, you'll have more collisions with the wall. Their speeds, v, if there's more speed, everything else being equal, the particles are going to hit the wall more often. But it'll be inversely proportional to the volume. Because everything else being equal, a larger volume, you'll have fewer collisions with the wall. So this frequency of collisions term depends on those three factors. The product of these two is going to give us a measure of the pressure. Now, it's interesting to note, when I take the product of these two, I'm going to get a factor of speed both from the momentum and from the frequency. So let's take the product of those two and average over the velocities. When we do that, we get an expression for the pressure that looks like this, the number of particles, the mass, their velocities, three times the volume. Now, that factor of three comes from the fact that this frequency here we kind of overcount because not all the particles are heading towards the wall. Some are moving parallel to the wall, some are moving away from the wall. So we overcount a little bit, so that compensates for this. So we have a pressure in terms of the number of particles, their masses, their velocity squared, and the volume. When we average over all those velocities, we'll put a bar to give us the average velocity in the sample. And we'll call that v bar squared the mean square speed. So this expression for the pressure, the average mean square speed, the number of particles, their masses, and the volume.